Welcome everybody to Times 2023 Sports Media Day, presented by Northeast Georgia Health System, sponsored by Jim Shorkey Auto Group and Jackson EMC, hosted by our friends here at Liberty Utilities, and a special thank you to Boot Barn Hall in downtown Gainesville. Next, we have Gainesville, represented by head coach Josh Niblett, with two players, his son Sky and offensive lineman Noe Kovarubis. Coach Niblett? Let you have the microphone, go right into it. It's a great time to be irrelevant. Tell me a little about what's going on with your program right now. Well, I think the biggest thing is, is just, you know, putting last year to bed. I mean, this is a new chapter. And so, you know, when you kind of hold your index finger and your thumb apart, you know, most people would say we were that close. But, you know, in our building, we're saying we were that far away. So whether you see the glass is half full, half empty, it really doesn't matter. I mean, for us, it's about being locked in on what we're doing. Um, you know, this summer's been about four components within our program. Number one's connection, number two's growth, number three's choose tough, and then be invested. And so now we're at a point right now we got to find that 1%. And so it's 1% on top of the standard that we have in our program. we got a great senior group that I'm excited about and their leadership coming back with a lot of talent, but more than that, with a lot of culture to it. And tell me a little bit about the two guys you brought here with you today, program loaded with talent, loaded with Division One prospects. What makes these two special? Well, I just think their leadership. Um, I think they're, they're people. Pre I mean, they love people, and they love being around people. They love being connected to people. And, and they're two guys that work extremely hard in our program. Um, they lead by example. And when they need to be vocal, they're vocal. And, and they're really good football players. Um, they're guys that give us an opportunity to be successful. They're going to be there every day. They're going to be committed to their families at home committed to their family uh, within our school, and then committed to our community. And those are the kind of guys that you want to uh, represent in your program. And we're proud of these two. Um, you know, Sky being that, you know, he's in my household. So, I mean, he kind of understands what the, the standard is. He sees it day in and day out. And, you know, no, he's a guy that brings his lunch pail to work every day. And uh, he's a guy that's tight with his family. And, and that's what we want our program to be about, made up of kids that believe in the same standards that we have. Guys, let me open it up to the two guys with you here. Um, how hungry are you for this season, knowing that you came so close last year? Well, our biggest thing from last year is that we're learning how to finish and closing the gap from last year. But we also want people to realize, like, we don't want to be known as that team that last year, like, all we ever did was just make it to the state championship. Obviously, we want to get back there and finish it. But we want people to know that this is a different group of faces and this is a different group of people. And we have the same common goal as last year, but we want to finish it this year. No um, I think we're not really hungry. We're starving for it. You know, it's different. It's the way we're trying to be on a different level. And um, just we're going to bring it home this year. We're going to win the state championship. And I think one unique aspect for your team this year, you got a four-year starter at quarterback, a guy that's grown up in Gainesville, knows the program, loves the program. Tell me what Baxter Wright brings to the team. Well, I think the biggest thing was is when I got here, you know, just he's got it. I mean, he just – he loves to play the game. He's a competitor. You know, he plays with an edge. Um, you know, he's a guy that can make all the throws that we need to make, but then he's also can beat you with his legs. But then I think as we got a little bit further into our offense, because we put a lot on our quarterback. And so, you know, when he got to where he could feel comfortable and knowing, hey, I'm, I know Coach is going to call this for this reason, then it enabled him just to kind of relax, cut it loose. And he's a kid that he'll be honest with you. Like, he wants to be in traffic, and he wants that physical part of the game early, which allows him to settle down. Um, and, you know, he's the leader of our offense. I mean, that's – and your quarterback needs to be the leader of our offense. He understands that responsibility. You know, to watch what he did last year, I mean, he threw for 3,500 yards, 40 touchdowns, 72% um, completion rate. And, you know, he ran for 650, and I didn't even run him early in the season. So – you know, I'm, I'm expecting big things out of him, but not just on the field, but doing the little things off the field to give us an opportunity to be where we want to be. Guys, let me ask you this question. You opened the season with a really fun rivalry game. How much fun is it to play school at Marist right off the bat? I mean, it's awesome. It gives us a test early, and we're going to respect them, obviously, but it really does give us a test early, see what we're made of, and give us like a look for the future. Definitely back to what he said, you know, it's just going to give us a test of the whole team and see how we play together and just get together during the season as the first game. And coach, one thing that I've been really inspired or really taken notice of, your facilities at Gainesville High School are 
top notch. Talk a little bit about what that brings and the sense of pride it does with your players. Well, to much is given, much is required. I mean, we're blessed. I mean, we're blessed with, you know, Dr. Williams, you know, his vision um, and his focus on a day-to-day, not not just from an athletic standpoint. He understands how important that is, but it's our whole student body. I mean, we've got construction going on. I mean, you know, two years before that, we had a new media center and a new cafeteria, and now, you know, we've got a three-story academic building that we'll be in this year. And so it's not just about sports. But it's about best is the standard. And if we're going to be the best, talk about being the best, then we need to be the best at everything. And so we've got the best administration, got the best leadership. Um, I truly, truly realize that and understand that, and they have a great focus on what we're doing. But also at the same time, I think when you have great facilities, you've got to understand the responsibility of it, but you still got to be able to live off the land. You know, I mean, there's still things that you got to do on a day-to-day process that, you know, facilities aren't going to just allow you to win because you have facilities. I mean, you still got to have the things that it takes to be a winning program. But this now accelerates where we're at, allows our kids some opportunities with what we're able to do to help them from a wellness standpoint, to help them from an academic standpoint, and to help them from a social standpoint. And, Scott, open this question up to you. 6A is very tough. A lot of great talent, especially yourself, Roswell, Houston County, Hughes. Talk about the classification as a whole and the talent there is in the state of Georgia. I mean, there's a very wide variety of it. And, um, I mean, like when we got to the playoffs, it was a it was a matchup every week that we were going to have to, like, fight and crawl back from if we needed to. But, I mean, it's, all, it's never going to be easy. It's always going to be super tough. But, I mean, it's great for us because it gives us a chance to have a feel of adversary, adversity and see how we can come back from it if we need to. Um, there's a lot of there's a lot of good opponents out there. There's a lot of good different teams, and just like this summer, you know, we played against a lot of good teams as well. So it just gave us all our team a good uh, waking up a little bit to know that we always have to be our eyes open and ready for anything that comes out. Yeah, and Coach Niblett, tell me a little bit about some of the new names you have on the roster. You're loaded with talent, all positions, pretty much all over the field. Tell me some of the names that fans can expect to see this year playing for you. Well, I mean, I think. The other thing is, is you know, on the offensive side of the ball, I mean, Travion Watson's kid coming back from last year, that leading receiver, and, you know, we're looking for some big things out of him. You know, I'm looking for opportunities to put him in different spots on the field to get the ball in his hands, give him opportunities to make some plays. He's an unbelievable leader, very humble, doesn't say a whole lot, but he's a kid that shows up, plays extremely hard. Gavin Hall's a kid going to play running back for us this year. Um, you know, I'm excited about the dynamic of him and what he brings to the table. we got a freshman, eighth grader is going to be a freshman for us, played middle school last year, Mikhail Stevens, and I think Mikhail's got a chance to have an opportunity. He's just got to continue to develop. Um, you know, other new faces, Eric Hart will be a receiver for us. Um, you know, Marcel Hensfeld will be also a receiver for us. Um, we're excited about those two guys. And then when you move over to the defensive side of the ball, you know, Champ Thompson's a kid that, you know, is going to be an issue for people. Um, you know, he's an issue for our guys. I mean, we feel like we feel like when we line up every day, we, we see one of the best defensive fronts probably in the state by going against those guys every day. Um, you know, Zion Ferguson's another guy, um, and then also Nick Taylor's another guy um, in the secondary um, that, that are some new faces. But, look, to us, it's, it's not about that. I mean, it's about the guys that bring something back to, like the Carmelo Birds. You know, I mean, it's a guy that brings something back to the table. You know, it's, it's Julius Columbus. You know, it's Alex Payne. We got a lot of guys coming back. Um, that allow us a tight-knit nucleus of what we're doing, a core of what we're doing that's going to allow us a chance to be successful. And, and the other guys that are the new faces, their biggest thing is being committed to our standard, being committed to how we do it, and then playing together. And that's why we talk about connection all the time. All right. Well, I'd like to thank Coach Niblett again for joining us. Sky, Noe, thank you for joining us. Again, games will open the season August 18th against Marist at City Park Stadium. Also keep an eye out for our print preview edition where our staff writer David Friedlander is taking a closer look at all 11 programs in Hall County. Thank you very much, gentlemen. Thank you. Brother. Thank you.